had an interesting day today. It seems that I have instigated some March Madness up in Washington State. So the other night I was talking about Gonzaga University, and I mentioned that I don't believe Gonzaga exists. I think it's very possible that Gonzaga is a hoax, probably cooked up by the Canadians, to screw up our basketball brackets. And that made some people mad, which it doesn't make any sense. All I said was, I don't know where Gonzaga is. I don't know anyone who went there. And I don't know anyone who knows anyone who went there. All I know about Gonzaga is that in March, I hear the word 30 times a day. But so now people from Spokane, Washington, are claiming that it is real, and it is located there. This even made the front page of the local newspaper. This was today's edition of the Spokesman Review. Yes, Jimmy Kimmel, Gonzaga exists. And another one from the Bonner County Daily Bee. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, Gonzaga exists, and Spokane will prove it to you. Well, good luck, because I don't even believe the Bonner County Daily Bee exists. But... And, of course, many, many individuals weighed in on this online, on Twitter. Will said, Jimmy Kimmel, are you living in a hole? How do you not know what Gonzaga is? Wake up, dude. Calvin wrote, for all of us that live around the Spokane area or eastern Washington and North Idaho area in general, know the greatness that is Gonzaga, not just the basketball. <laughs> Do a little research before you talk out your ass, Kimmel. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, Gonzaga is in Spokane. I liked you till now. F off. I have a degree from there. <laughs> Signed the real, real share doll. Uh, some people tried to use alumni to make their case. Roberto said, Jimmy, you don't know much. Probably haven't heard of Mr. Tom Foley from Spokane, who also went to Gonzaga, 30-year U.S. congressman, also elected Speaker of the House. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, ever heard of Bing Crosby? He went to Gonzaga. <laughs> and GU is in Spokane, which brought you Father's Day. Spokane also holds the world's largest timed foot race and three-on-three -three basketball tournament. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Cindy says, hey, Jimmy, I'm proof that Gonzaga University exists beyond its famed basketball program. I graduated from GU School of Engineering and had a great career developing digital cameras, cell phones, old LED displays, and mixed reality headsets, which that is, mixed reality headsets is interesting. Her job is to create reality that doesn't actually exist, just like the university she claims she went to. They even, they even did it. An extended story about this on the local news. Visit Spokane reminded Kimmel that he interviewed a guy named John Hamm, who played a guy who went to Gonzaga in a little film called Tag. Remember that? So they said, you do know someone who knows someone who went to Gonzaga. Okay, that might be a bit of a stretch, but I get there with <laughs> Well, listen, that, do they know movies aren't real? Because that, that's... This, all these tweets, all these examples, these are all... These are circumstantial. I need physical evidence that proves unequivocally that Gonzaga exists before I'll believe it. And don't say, come up here and see. I'm no dummy. I know how that goes. I fly into Spokane. I get picked up at the airport. Somebody says, yeah, hey, I'm with Gonzaga. They drive me out to the middle of a field and then leave me there with my luggage. <laughs> okay. Next thing I know, I wake up in a, a bathtub full of ice and all three of my kidneys are gone. No, thank you. <laughs> and by the way, I filled out my bracket this afternoon. I picked Gonzaga to win the NCAA tournament. <laughs> I figure, my thinking is, if these guys are so good they can concoct an imaginary university and get almost everyone to go along with it, they could easily win a basketball tournament. So, <laughs> go Zags is what... When they zig, I go Zags. And I'll tell you something. They tried to convince us that Hogwarts was in Scotland, too, and guess what? That turned out to be a book. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.